SE Linux stands for Security Enhanced Linux and was originally developed by the United States National Security Agency and in 2000 it was released in the open source community. Now before we can see what the advantages of SE Linux are, we have to first do a quick recap of how Linux system security works without SE Linux. So with uh, traditional security, whenever a program gets started, and this may be a user shell, when a user logs in for example, or a daemon that runs a particular application, like for example a web server, the process that runs the application will always get a user ID and a group ID connected to it. That process is referred to as a subject, and the subject wants to perform an action on an object, which may be a regular file, a directory, or a device file, or some other file type. The only way to protect these objects is by setting permissions on the objects. So in short, this means that every object has an owner in the form of a user ID and a group ID, and three sets of permissions, read, write, and execute for the user, the group, and the rest of the world. So this excess of objects is regulated by a combination of IDs and permissions. And what's very important, the owner determines object access privileges. This technique is called DAC or discretionary access control. So access is determined at the discretion of the user. In other words, it's all about IDs. Now, why is that not secure enough? So imagine you've got a running web server with user ID 48 and imagine this process gets compromised by people with malicious intent. Then these attackers will be able to access all files that user ID 48 can access and potentially do a lot of harm to your system. So for example, since most configuration files are world readable, this process is able to read the contents of your Etsy host file, which will give away all IP addresses stored in there or the Etsy password with all usernames and many other files on your system. And exactly this is where SA Linux can help. 